ladies, you don't need a man. You don't need a man. There's a woman somewhere thinking that she needs a man to be complete. But it's because she hasn't read the Bible. The Bible says that Adam needed a help meet to be complete. It says whoever finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor. In actuality, he needs you. You are the favor he's looking for. Listen, ladies. Shalom, 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 shalom. Hey, first and foremost, we would love to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakach Wadash. Hey, double honors to the apostles. You don't need a man. Shalom, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Uh, blessings and safety to the elect, man. All right. And if you women listen to this nigga, man, all right, your ass gonna get destroyed, man. All right. Because, hey, man, hey, the scriptures talk about how, you know, the head of a woman is the man, okay? And this, this man, this nigga right here, he literally, he's putting a woman above him, man, which is contrary to the scriptures, man. All right? So, hey, man, we're going to go right into the precepts, man. Let me get that first, what you just quoted. Hey, whatever you want to get, brother. Time. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and uh, I'm going to get to the point. Verse 3, it says, but I will have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach. And the head of the woman is the man. Right. So the head of the man is Hamashiach, which Hamashiach is, is, is speaking about Yahweh Shai, which we know the head of uh, Yahweh Shai is, is the heavenly father, Yahweh. Okay. And then, and then the head of the woman is the man, her husband. All right. Head is the, is, 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 is the, the superior woman. Right. So a, a man is over a woman, man. All right. So anybody that's in a relationship or dealing with a woman and she's over them, man, they're not in the spirit, man. And I guarantee you, this nigga right here, okay, I guarantee you, this nigga probably rule over his woman, man. But he, he probably rule over his woman, or she, she probably rule over his ass. Or he ain't got one. Or he ain't got one, all right? Because a woman a woman don't want a man that she can run over, man. Mm -hmm. She want a man that can, that can dominate her, man. All right? Yep. What you got, it, brother? This is the word head, uh, 1 Corinthians 11, verse 3. It says kafale, the head. It says metaphorically anything supreme, chief, prominent. Uh, so yeah, the head. Like, you and, said, that's why, uh, and that's why. And that's why Sarah, she, uh, she, she called Abraham Lord. Lord. Yep, yep. Okay, she said yes, my Lord. Okay. So how the hell do the woman not need us? You know what I'm saying? If women, they showed you that in one reality TV show, and I got the scripture uh, where they set a group of women on the island, and they set a group of men on the island. By, by in the first 24 hours, men had fire, they had uh shelters being built, you know what I'm saying? They was in order. Three days passed and the women were still arguing, they ain't had shit. That's right. And it's no such thing as an independent woman, man. Okay. All right. It's no such thing again as an independent woman. Every woman that's out here proclaiming to be independent, they still receive help from men, man. Okay. okay? It's first Corinthians chapter eleven, verse eight. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Right. So the, the, the Lord didn't create a damn woman first and say, you know what? You know, I'm going to uh, bring forth a man for you. No, man. The Lord created a man first and he brought forth a woman for him. Which when you go into that word woman, it means a servant, man. Verse 9, 1 Corinthians 11, verse 9. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. There it is, man. You got it, brother. Yeah. So the Lord created the woman for the man, meaning as a, as a as a uh, to be utilized by the man, not the other way around. The way society tell you that a woman is supposed to utilize a man. I need a man to do this. I need a man for this, and I need a man to do that. Well, that's not even what your role is for. You should be thinking about what all you can do for a man. You well, hey, man. Well, yeah. Clean the fucking house and bear children, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's hey. That's the role of a woman, man. To guide the house, man. Hey, matter of fact, you can grab that, brother, okay. and then you get what you got. Well, because the scripture says that, that a woman shall be saved in childbearing. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the ultimate way that, that a woman is going to be able to be uh, be saved. But what? By submitting to her husband and, and bearing children, you know? Mm -hmm. Come on. This is um 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 14. I will therefore that the younger women marry, Bear children. Right, so the, the scriptures don't even talk about a woman pursuing some career. Mm -hmm. All right, because that's the mentality of the average woman in America. They want to pursue some career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to go to, uh, you know, I want to be an RN. Hey, man, get your ass back in the house, man. That's yeah. why the scriptures talk about uh, the vision shall fail and the gathering shall not come, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of you women, man, 
Hey, these scriptures is it, it puts you back in the laundry room folding clothes, man, and it take you out of that damn corporate office, man. It says if if I, if I can say because what, what when was the, the women's liberation movement uh, 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 being brought out? It's the fifties, you know, early sixties. You know what I'm saying? And that's that. And, and because why? Because women, while the men were out in, in war, you know what I'm saying, during the, a time of the World War II or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, you had the women taking uh, uh, the roles of working and all that stuff like that. But Esau said, "Hey man, I'm gonna take advantage of this situation. Yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tax them. I'm gonna allow them to continue to work. You know, I'm gonna tax both uh, both members of the household." Yeah, and like like mm-hmm. Apostle mentioned at camp, uh, Apostle Tar mentioned at camp. Uh, that's why women back then they couldn't vote because it was known that women make poor decisions. Sure, they, so, yeah. they, they choose carnally and not, you know what I'm saying? With, with they don't the think logic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of thought. Well, even in, in Job, it says that uh, that the Lord had not uh, get, uh, imputed to her. Uh, wisdom, wisdom neither had he imparted to her understanding, yep, man. Yep. This is why the father had to give his daughter to a man of understanding, mm-hmm. man. The father didn't give his son to a woman of understanding. It was the opposite, the other way around. Come These way, this simple, this simp right here, man. This is why a mass majority of the men of Israel they gotta die, man. Got they, and the Lord has to, uh, cause hey, their, their whole thought process is destroyed, man. For you to believe that a woman don't need a man, okay? How does a woman get pregnant? She received the seed. Yeah, you know, like the uh, like the brother said that the woman's uh, egg is is pretty much uh, dead until mm-hmm. it, it, it it collides with the seed, man. Because a man gives that that uh, that 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 egg the life, you know. A, a man gives a woman life. I got a quick one. Mm-hmm. This first Ezra's chapter four, verse twenty six, verse twenty five. Wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father and mother. Yeah. Many there be that have run out of their wits for women. Prime example, I, this nigga done lost it all. This whole mentality is destroyed, man, probably because of a woman. Okay. All right? Yep. This, hey, this nigga's a mama's boy. Yeah, he mm-hmm. had his heart broke or some kind, shit. Kind, and this kind. nigga never got back, you know, went into... Because when you get your heart broke, you're supposed to go into savage mode. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed <laughs> to be on some... Fuck me, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to go on a rampage for kind, a couple kind. years. This nigga never did that. He just turned to a simp, mm-hmm. <laughs> a servant. Like you, you could say, you could look at him and see. You know what I'm saying? You could look at this, this dude and see that that he's uh, he his his edge has been lost. You know what I'm saying? And then this is a girl. This is a girl page that posted this, right. and at the top of it, it says, "Men need us with the heart." See, so this is the this is the type of spirit that, that you put the woman mm-hmm. in when you talking like this, Got and it. you see he covering his eyes because the eyes, like I said, the eyes is the window to the, the soul. soul. Yep. So he, you can tell he threw man. He and just, then I guarantee you, some woman gonna see this and go home and try to you know orchestrate or, or demand some shit in the household. Husband, like, where, where is this coming from? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's coming from what this nigga, man. Right. Kind. Kind. Real talk, bro. Because then well, we will get the scripture and then we speak. But this person, Ezra chapter four and verse twenty six again, yeah. Many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sake. Many also have perished, have erred. And I want to say this because if if he's saying that the woman don't need the man, he's pretty much saying that, well, he's saying it. Men need women. So he pretty much saying that men shall serve women. Right. Okay. So this is a prime example of a nigga. He's probably a servant for his wife. He probably get out the car. Run over to her. I just saw that shit at camp. Huh? You know, a nigga get out the car. Huh? The woman like this on the phone in the passenger seat. She waited till the nigga came around and opened her door. And then she got out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, what the hell, man? Mm-hmm. So that's why I say, verse 27, many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. Because the scriptures say, of the woman became the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. You see, the scriptures also say there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So you following after the woman who brought in, brought death into the world, that's that's a that's a way of death, man. And I want to say this too, man. How doesn't a woman need a man when the Lord dealing with the men, man? God. How can a woman receive salvation through a man? The Lord, He gave this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding over to the man, man, to give down the order to his wife and to the wife to give down the order to the children. You, hey, a woman can't do a front flip over her husband and get to the Lord, man. Hey, when uh, uh, I believe Rebecca was buried, who who went to uh, the Lord for Rebecca, man? Who entreated? Who entreated for it, man? Isaac did, man. You know? Yeah, that's in the law that a father or a husband can disannul a woman's vow mm-hmm. that she made to the Lord. Yeah, if her, if, if her mm-hmm. superior, if her head, 
whether it be her father, if she's unmarried, or her husband, if he don't agree with what she just vowed to the Lord, he can disannul that vow before the Lord, and the Lord gonna honor it. That, you know, true. uh, this is back in. You got one. Yeah, kind. Of, I got one. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, uh, Revelation chapter twenty one and verse three. It says, "And I heard a great voice out of the out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and He will dwell with them, and they shall be His people, and the Most High Himself shall be with them and be their power." You see, so the men are are, are receive their power from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You know what I'm saying? And the woman receives her power from her husband. You know, the, the order is set up for a reason, man. Why you think it ain't no woman amongst the 144,000, man? Right. All right? Right. There ain't, there ain't no damn women amongst the 144,000, man. There wasn't no women among the disciples. Mm -hmm. There was 12 disciples. They was all men. Then they'll say, oh, well, what about a prophetess? Well, that's just a wife of a prophet. Right, right. right. <laughs> and even in, uh, what's that, First John talk, uh, talks about the elect lady. You know what I'm saying? But, but she was chosen because why? Because of the worship that she was doing for, for, uh, for the prophets, man. You know what I'm saying? So you you have uh, women set up in, in positions, but ultimately it's the man that that's that's running the whole show. That's right. You know, this is Ezekiel just to back you up. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 34 and verse 31. Uh, 31. It says, "And ye Count. my flock of my it's like it, and ye my flock of my pastor are men." There it is again. Yeah. The Lord dealing with the men. So hey, you know, hey, shit, the women need the men. You, you know, how to, hey, well, guess what? You know, a woman may be able to, you know, do certain things in society, but she's still going to need a man. Mm -hmm. What about when that tire gets flat? Kind of. That car break down? What you call it? The, the, you know, you need a plumber. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. These women ain't dominating these jobs like that. Yeah. Uh, when, you, when, when you want to build a bridge or a skyscraper. You know what I'm saying? You, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Condominium they, they, apartments. They, they, right, right. But even if a woman was fixing a car, who the fuck she learned from? She ain't learned from another woman. Right. Because it's no woman saying, oh, I'm, I'm going to get my hands dirty. Willingly. You know what I'm saying? Now, women may do certain things for to, to be seen, yeah, for money, views, right, yeah, right. yeah, stuff like that. But she ain't doing that, like, uh, like just behind the scenes to, to support her family. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Hey, man, a man, you know, he you know, he, he deals with a woman. You know, he pops her, man. But besides that, man, what, what if, if a woman ain't, you know, cooking, cleaning, and, and guy in the house, she's worthless. All right, because that's her. That was why she was created. That's why mm -hmm. she was created. This is Ezekiel chapter thirty-four, verse thirty-one. And ye, my flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your power, save your Yahweh Shimei I will shy power. And so the Lord's, the flock of the Lord's pasture are men. You know, mm -hmm. brother, going into it, it got me thinking about Isaiah the third chapter, because in the, in the times that's going to come when there are no resources, when there's no food, there's no water, there's no electricity. You women gonna be sitting on the ground desolate, you know, so to speak. Like I grab uh, Isaiah uh, the, the three and uh, twenty five, I believe. Mm -hmm. All right, you say you say that the the, the men, you say men uh, need women, right? Well, we gonna see what the scriptures say, man. Because hey, man, it's it's some some times like no other that's approaching, man. Called Jacob's trouble, man. Okay, you think men gonna need women in? Well, we gonna see what the scriptures say, man. Fine. Uh, this is Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 25. It says, Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty men in the war. And this is going to say, because these men about to get drafted, man. A lot of these men, shit going to get so real, they going to go voluntarily go sign up for the military and get shipped across seas, man. Uh, All right, go. And that happened in World War One and World War Two. Mm, that's right. Because y'all was speaking about how that's how Esau was able to sneak in that feminist movement, you know what I'm saying, because women was moved into the workforce mm -hmm. because all the men was at war dying. That's right. Left a woman alone, right? Let's see what the scriptures say. Time. Isaiah. Since, 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 the, since the man need the woman and the woman don't need the man, well, let's see. Right. Isaiah 3 and verse 26, it says, And her gate shall lament and mourn, and she shall be, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. Hold on, man. She being desolate without that man shall sit upon the ground. Why the scriptures ain't say she gonna go, you know, make it happen? Conquer mm -hmm. the world. Why she ain't got it, got it. <laughs> got a PhD. I got like Kevin said, you said, I got a PhD. <laughs> hey, get the Isaiah 4 and 1, brother. Because, hey, she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. You about to go into a word, brother? Yeah, I'm gonna get that All word. Right. Desolate. Calm, calm, brother. Uh, Isaiah 3. And 26, the word desolate. Uh, Nakwa, Nakwa, it says to be empty. To be empty. To, uh, to be desolate, to be cut off. Now, it says that um, the man pretty much going to go over and fight in the war, so she's going to be desolate. Well, 
why, why is she desolate? Because she don't have that hedge anymore. Right. Right. She, all right. If if, if if she didn't need a man, she would be the scriptures would say she would be straight. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but you, you know. kind because that's what it is. It's a hedge, like you say. You know what I'm saying? That's why your Abba Shmuel Shah is a hedge for the nation of Israel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the nation of Israel is the most sized woman, pursuant to Jeremiah uh, six and two. God. Now this is Isaiah chapter four verse one. Wait, for, hey, you niggas that believe that, uh, that 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 we need the woman, right? Let's right. go. Kind. Isaiah four verse one, and in that day. Seven women shall take hold of one man. So why the hell is these seven being completion? Why are these women going to take hold of one man? Why? Go ahead. And if I could say, because this is this is after the, the, the woman being desolate, yep. you know, uncovered. No, nowhere to go. Nowhere right? to go. You got to get fine. Yep. It says in uh, Isaiah 4 and 1, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. And because women rely on men for those things mm -hmm. right now. Come on. Okay, like I said, you will have a woman that says she's independent because she... See, this is the thing, man. It's no such thing as an independent woman. Right. Okay, a woman that says she's independent because she doesn't have an actual husband, but she's still out there riding a cock carousel. Mm -hmm. She's still receiving benefits yep. from a man. Yep, yep. Okay, so you're really not independent. Right. You're still relying on a man to do something. Got it. Because a, a, lot, a, lot a lot of ease, their, their man is Esau. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The government, mm -hmm. you know? You ain't end up being reliable, you so that ain't independent, dog. It's yeah. because you ain't got Jake, you know, say the brother in the house, don't mean you ain't. Well, that's, you know, that's the scripture, Second Ezra 9, and say, for such in their life have received benefits, benefits and yeah. have not known. You know, mm -hmm. They have not known the Lord. How can right. you not know the Lord if you don't know the men of your nation? You see what I'm saying? Um, it says, verse 4, I mean, Isaiah 4, verse 1, so I can. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying. And that day, man, when all hell break loose. Come. All right, when it ain't no 911, man, right. okay? No police patrolling the streets, right. okay? Uh, the Lord opened up the prisons. All right, he's going to physically open this one he, in the actual prisons. You think niggas going to still be in jail when all hell break loose? Guards ain't coming to the prison. Niggas getting up through, mm -hmm. all right? Let me see. Lawlessness. Time, so, time. so, so, you know, in that day, man, several women, which can be uh, any amount of number of women, shall take hold of. They're gonna be looking for a man in that day. Mm -hmm. The scripture said, "The Lord is gonna make a man more precious than five gold." gold. Okay, All right. For you. Yeah, because yeah, especially the men. Of, that's talking about the men of the Lord. Right. A man more precious than five gold because. Like I said before, you're going to see apparitions. We, we the only man that's going to be spiritual enough to see that and not, you know, completely lose, it. lose, or lose it. You feel mm -hmm. me? To see a demon from one of these video games, you know what I'm saying? It, like, right there, you're like, what the fuck? Right. You know, and go and watch it go fuck some people up. We're going we to be cool. Mm -hmm. Some people are going to be trying to run to us. Like, <laughs> but anyway, it's like this Isaiah 4 verse 1, uh, reading on. It says, saying, we will eat our own bread. And we're our own apparel. Listen, well, don't worry about we go find our own food and find and make our own clothes, man. Because right now, a woman wants you to listen. And that day, look, we don't look. We get all that. Mm -hmm. What did it say? Yeah, that's another thing too. Even nowadays, women still begging men to provide A B A B X Y and Z. So how the hell do we need them? What the hell is you still talking about? That's right. They say. Uh, yeah, if I can say too, because it, <laughs> when you, when you look at the totality of of of, of life, I guess you could even if you want to call like we, you, women. Uh, uh, women lions hunt for the for the male. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because why? Because the the, the, the male lion, him. yeah, exactly. She you know, She him. goes out. She hunts. She, you know what I'm saying? And best believe she fear him too. Exactly. That's that's the most important thing. Uh, the male lion walk up slow. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Get the first dibs while it comes. You know, yeah, you got women yeah, out there yeah. talking about. I, she got me fucked. I never give a man a plate first for my kids. Well, nigga, who providing the plate? Right. Right. Then you gonna give me my plate first, and then the kids yep, eat. Yep. <laughs> The stupidity of the they can talk all that right now because it's the green tree and still yeah. receiving those yeah. benefits. When yeah. Esau yeah. takes all that away, right. they, they, they're they going to be desperate. And okay. that's when a man is going to be able to have his have his choice of pickings, man. That's right. You yeah. know? It says, uh, and read it on in Isaiah 4, verse 1, and where our own apparel, only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Right, how is that, man? They going to they gonna want a deal. Mm -hmm. They going to they want to take away that guilt. For them believing that, you know, they were above a man. And they ain't need a man. For having that same mentality that this nigga is, this vibration that he pushing out there, women gonna feel guilty in that day for that, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. That's why they had to explain themselves. We were gonna wear our, we gonna make our own bread, we're gonna wear our own apparel. That's why they was explaining themselves, because they gonna recollect on their behavior. Like you better say, the shame is gonna cover them. Got oh, it. that's the, uh, Micah chapter seven. 
Mm-hmm. Said that shame shall cover, cover her. Yeah, yeah. You know, we said, "Where is the Lord thy power?" Because ultimately, they don't think that the Most High, the God of the Bible, Yahweh Shemesh Shah, is with the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American man. Yeah, we could close with uh, mm-hmm. Isaiah thirty-two. Our brothers ain't got no more either, too. Mm-hmm. Rise up, ye women. I got, I got one. Yeah, you got, got a brother. Time. Real quick, this uh-huh. is First uh, Peter chapter three and uh, verse seven. Well, I'm gonna start at verse six because you had quoted verse yeah. six. Uh, verse 6, it says, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. Lord, man. So Sarah, hey, that's why, man, look, man. I was telling her in the video, hey, man, look, man. These women ain't going to be Sarah, man. Don't be trying to go into scriptures and create a Sarah, man. It's not going to happen. But Sarah called, and that's a righteous woman. Mm-hmm. She called Abraham Lord, man. She understood that he was old. He was superior. He was the head, man. Okay. It says, um, which mean master. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It says, whose daughters ye are. Master is a master to a servant. Kind of. Like we said, the word woman means female servant. Mm-hmm. Like you got like. It says, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. Mm-hmm. Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge. Right, and are not afraid of any amazement. Meaning you stay in the order under your husband. Stay in you know your saying? lane, yeah. Yeah, you don't, you don't try to overstep his decisions. And, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> And if I can say, because women look for, 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 for guys like this to use them, to milk what they have, you know what I'm saying? To but empower them, yeah, exactly. to, to suck that energy out of kind, them, kind. out of these simps. Kind. And then as soon as everything, as soon as he milk dry, they moving on to the next one, man. Yeah, he you know, know? <laughs> like PZSD7, the women uh, hardest sneers and next. Bex, kind, his hair and hands is bad. Yeah, right. And that's why niggas like him get took it by the yeah, 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 yeah. say he that please the Lord shall escape yeah. it, but the sinner shall be took it by. This is a simple ass nigga, man. Even, like in Ecclesiastes, he can't tell him say he searched all the world, or you know, all the earth. Out of, out of a thousand man. women, not, not one, one, man. That, that's, that's the, uh, and then King Solomon knew everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to continue on in this, though. Um, First Peter chapter 3 and verse 7, it says, Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor. According to knowledge, understanding that you are superior over them. That's knowledge. Mm-hmm. All right, the scriptures don't say you put the woman over you. That ain't knowledge. Yeah. So you got to dwell with them according to knowledge, mm-hmm. man, knowing that you're supposed to rule over them. You make the decisions. They're supposed to serve. All right? They're supposed to serve you. Okay? Teach the children how to serve you. Because that's what, when you go into that word family, it means a, a house full of servants, man. So, hey, that's how you deal with your woman according to knowledge, man. Mm-hmm. It says, um, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. So, understanding that she's the weaker vessel, man. She's weak. A woman is weak. They, they full of emotions, man. They don't make logic decisions, man. Okay? Yeah, that, if, if something is weak, that means that it need help. It need help. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It needs support. Why would you grab, Why would you go get something that's weak to help you? You know what I'm saying? Kind of, kind of. Like, well, you know what I'm saying? If you could, if you need something, I don't. Know, if you need a strong rope, you're not gonna go get a a string. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know it's weak. It can't support you. Yeah. So you you when you go to something that's stronger than you for support. And how do a woman? Uh, uh, cause you got a lot of women. I'm a strong black woman. Well, the only a woman you don't even really uh, come uh, use the word strong to describe a woman. Mm-hmm. But a woman at her best, man. Uh, an elite woman is a woman that's in order under her mm-hmm. husband, man. Period. Mm-hmm. That's the best woman, man. Got it. it says, uh, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. And if I can say too, because because uh, the woman was 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 made well. If you got ears to hear, you know what I'm saying it was a close kin to yeah, Adam. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, but uh, you know, really, a woman is in in a, in a man is is joined as a union. You know what I'm saying? So the man is, is the is the strength of that union, you know, and the woman adds to that man, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to complete him. Well, the scripture talk about a woman that she fucking bring him down the house, destroy for house. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, kind, kind. Um, right, not, like not to complete Adam, but. Yeah, 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 yeah kind. Be, be more accurate to what you said, not to necessarily complete Adam, but, you know, she completes the creation. The, the creation of how the Heavenly Father designed it in the beginning. And she complete the, uh, the the household. Right, right. Pretty much, you know, right. the whole house. Right. You know, because it, it, the Lord, everything got to be done decently and in order. So she okay. plays the role okay. dealing with the children, right. doing, doing the servant duties, man. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, that's a complete home. That's mm-hmm. a complete household. Because because when when you allow a woman to uh to, to be a head of a household, you got all type of confusion. You get a fem a feminine man, 
you got over masculine women. You know, the scripture says in, in Sirach 25 that the, uh, the, that through, through her, we all die was she, because she's the beginning of sin. I won't be surprised if Esau let that bitch get in office, man. To get these women more pride, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Man, the Lord gonna just hey man, hey look, I, man, hey look, man, hey, get that Isaiah thirty two if you ain't got the power. Hey, you I got that. Right, what you, you got, first? Yeah, I get Isaiah too. Yeah, I uh, got 32. it real quick. Nah. This will back up which I was just talking about. This First Corinthians eleven verse eleven. Nevertheless, neither is the woman without Saki. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman. Neither the woman without the man in the Lord. So like they brothers were saying, both her role is needed. If it's done in the order mm -hmm. of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then then she's she's like, you know, she has a purpose, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like, okay, I can utilize her, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but before that, if you're not in the order, then then it's all out of whack. Got it. And it talks about that in uh in, in Proverbs 31 about how a woman should be. She's working with her hands. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh you know, uh she her husband is, is known in, in you know what I'm saying, among uh, in the gates, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Making making garments and exactly, making clothes, yep, yep. you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. So the husband ain't got, it, so they don't have to buy them, or so she can sell them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whatever. What you got? I got that. Uh, kind of start from the top, or nah. you get to the point. Kind. Of. Sorry, nine. Kind. Of. This is Isaiah 32 and verse nine. It says, "Rise up, you women that are at ease." Which we know this is a twofold scripture. This is actually talking about America, but we use it for the Israelite woman because they at ease, man. All right. They're ease, and it's because of simps like this, man. First and foremost, Esau, but because of simps like this, the Lord said, rise up, ye women that are at ease. You women that's comfortable in the society, man. Right? Go ahead. You're it's chasing some, you pursuing some career. As a matter of fact, hey, real quick, God, let me get this real quick. Mm -hmm. This Titus 2 and um, 2, and it says that the aged woman be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith. Hold on, Shalaki. That's going into the man, Shalaki. It's Titus 2 and 3, the aged woman likewise, that they be uh, in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young woman. So a hey, woman ain't supposed to be teaching no man. All right, woman's supposed to teach the aged woman, supposed to teach the young woman right. how to be a woman. Mm -hmm. You know, but you got the mothers out here man, teaching their daughters to be independent. I don't need a man. Girl, if he don't if he don't give you what you want, he don't give you what your heart desire, then you you go on about your biz. What the scriptures say, uh, uh, Genesis third chapter, the sixteenth verse, um, uh, it talks about the man, man ruling over her, yeah. her uh, his desire, her desire should be to her husband, yeah. and he yeah. shall rule over her, man. Yeah. Yeah. Her desire shall be to her husband. I mean, she supposed to, like the scripture say, there's nothing better than a well instructed mind. Mm -hmm. Her mind supposed to be instructed by her man to think how he wanted her to think, to move how he wanted her to move. Yeah. Well, that's what it says uh, in, the, in the Apocrypha in Syrac, uh that that uh, he that gets a woman get a, get a possession. Possession. You know what I'm saying? A man? possession, he, man. Look up that word possession, man. Huh? And you're supposed to be able to possess your, possess yeah, your wife. Possession. You know? So a woman, oh, a possession. A woman is a man's possession. Let's right. get that word possession. Word possession in the etymology, it says mid fourteenth century possession, act or fact of holding, occupying or owning. Owning, so a man owns his woman, man. Okay. She's his property, right? You know, yeah. And and that's why when when a, when a, uh when you have a daughter, you uh she takes on uh her father's last name, and then when she gets married, she, she takes, takes on, on the man's her, last her name. husband's last name. That's right, bro. Because because when when you, before you're married, you're 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 the possession of your father. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, and then when 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 you get when you get married to another man, now what happened? Now that that possession is passed on to the husband. Oh. You know, what is it? I'm gonna go back and it's Titus. Was it more on that, brother? No, it's, not good. it's Titus two and uh. Oh wait, hold. It do say this is uh, the word possess etymology. It says to have or hold, hold in one's control, to be master of, own. Mm. It says the to hold as property. Oh, to hold as property. <laughs> So a woman is a man's property. property yep. You know, period, man. All right. Titus 2 and 4, that they may teach the young woman how to be sober, to love their husbands. To love their husbands. Mm -hmm. Shalaki. To love their husbands and to love their children, to be discreet. All right. And these women ain't discreet, man. It says chase keepers at home, man. So, hey, man, you women supposed to be keepers at home, man, keeping up the household, man, mm -hmm. not pursuing some damn career, man. All right? And it says, uh, 
good and obedient to their husbands, that the word of Yahweh be not blasphemy, man. Right, obedient to their husband, because they're under the man, not mm -hmm. the other way around. Not they're not giving orders to the man. You know, the man's not taking orders from his wife, being obedient to his wife, but but the other way around. That's right, brother. Time. I'm going to uh, continue on in this. Uh, Isaiah 32 and verse 9, it says, Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Hey, see, these women don't care about the word of the Lord. Because why? Like I said, it takes away their their, their pride, man. It takes, hey, because in this society, they empower the woman. Or the Lord uh, takes away that power from them. All right? And, and he and, and these scriptures and the word of the Lord, like I said, it put the woman back in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. All right? It put, her, it put her ass in the fucking... The bathroom, cleaning, taking care of the children, doing laundry, doing laundry at the house, man. Cooking. Serving while the, while the man does what he do. Mm -hmm. what, hey, while, while the man be a man. Whatever right. the man does. Hey, you know. And I got that word ease, uh, you know, because it says rise up, you women that are at ease. Uh, this is Strong's uh, H7600. And it goes into uh, to careless, wanton, arrogant. Arrogant pride, man. Pride, and that's another word. Pride. These women are full of pride. Mm -hmm. well, well, hey, man, hey, look, man. The scriptures say pride goes before fall, too, man. All right. The scriptures also say all, all the great miseries that should be done to them in the latter days because they have walked in great pride. Right, that's yeah. why a lot of women is going to be amongst that judgment, man. Mm -hmm. It goes into security. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, women, women are secure in okay. Babylon the Great. You yeah. know, Ezekiel nine and four say he gonna slay utterly old and young, both maids yeah. and mm -hmm. women. You know, little children and women, but it's hey, more emphasized women. Hey, the scriptures talk about that security because it says, uh, make no tarry in the turn to the Lord and put not on day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security yeah. thou shalt be, shall be destroyed yeah. and perish in the day of mm -hmm. vengeance, man. That's that, that ease. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's why, you know, Apostle Hart say, hey, man, we don't we don't need the, the Israelite woman to bring back the nation. You know what I'm saying? Like what hey, we need her for. Man. And we can use the fucking heathen woman that's in order. Yeah. 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 Like, all right, and bring back the whole nation. Time. The Lord is just having mercy on them. Because mm -hmm. this, this, that's all it is, it's, man. It's like you plant seeds in the garden, you can just plant the seeds in another garden. Time. <laughs> you, know? Time. you feel me? I'm gonna finish this out. There you go. Uh, Isaiah 32 and uh, verse nine it says, hey, hey, "The house is established by the seed of the father, Time. not the woman." Man, the woman doesn't have nothing to do. Uh, 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 when, when a child is born, the woman doesn't have nothing to do with uh, uh, what nation that child belongs to. It's the father, man. Mm -hmm. Esau knows that. That's why he won't let he won't let his uh, son bring home a Keisha, but won't let his daughter bring home right. a Tyrone. Yeah, a Tyrone, yeah, Tyrone, you feel yeah, me? Because yeah. he understands. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yeah, Brad, bring home a Ashley. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> we still bear Edomites over here. You know what I'm saying? These fucking niggas, and, those, and the offspring is gonna be better athletes. Yeah, uh, got that nigger, yeah. nigger woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you asked about my time. Uh, Isaiah thirty-two and verse nine it says, "Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled." Hey, give ear unto the Lord's speech, man. Know your position as a woman. Okay. Hey, give ear unto the Lord's speech, man. Get your ass back in the household and come out of that corporate office, man. Get off that damn judge sheet, retire, and get your ass back at home cooking and baking cookies and shit, man. And baking bread, man. That's why a lot of men diets is off because they damn women don't fucking cook, man. Mm -hmm. When men be having to fucking set, be, uh, settle for this fucking bullshit out here because a woman a woman's so busy slaving at work, she don't even want to fucking cook, man. Got All right? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be making food from scratch, man. Looking up herbs and looking up different ingredients, man, to make uh, a better food for your household. Right. But instead, your ass out working for fucking Esau, uh, going to the damn club, God. and your fucking husband got to settle for a damn Big Mac, man. Right, by the, mm -hmm. by the Lord's heart up before he's 50. God. Like you said, they ain't supposed to, because that's what the scriptures say. The scriptures say that uh, they're a pillar against death. You know what I'm saying? A pillar of rest, a pillar against death, broken prayer in the scripture. Meaning, she's supposed to uh, extend the years of your life because, like you said, she's supposed to be constantly trying yeah. to master cooking, get healthier uh, recipes so that y'all can live longer. A pillar of rest. Pillar of rest. Mm -hmm. kind of. And then I got the scripture you was quoting earlier. This is Ecclesiasticus in the book of Sirach, chapter 3, verse 9. For the blessing of the father establishes the house of the houses of children. But the curse of the mother rooted out foundations, mm. you know, and that, and you know, it rooted out Adam's foundation. Mm -hmm. It sure did root, root out Adam's foundation. 
And that's a continual cycle. You know what I mean? Right. You know, so like the brother said, at the end, it's only right that the Heavenly Father put these women back in their place and humble them. I not, you know, these women and, and make them, you know, pretty much they're going to bow before the men of the Lord. Because mm-hmm. that, 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 that's what the scripture says, that the Lord had created a new thing. That a woman shall come past a man. This is a new thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Like this ain't this ain't something that's been you know passed down from ancient times. You know, yes, yeah, girl. You know, he gonna grow up and be ruler over your man. Now this right. is something that Esau then created, man. That's why the apostle to her uh, Genesis, uh, the Genesis two breakdown. The, the prime example that he used was the feminist movement. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a new thing in the earth that's being pushed by the seed of the serpent, the Edomites, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got it. I'll read it real quick. Jeremiah 31, verse 22. Mm-hmm. How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? And that's talking about the entire nation, you know, technically. You know what I'm saying? We use it to basically hone in on the women. But when they say thou backsliding daughter, it's talking about the nation of Israel. Well, this this nigga backslide. Got right. it. Right. Got that's it. The, yeah, that's exactly what it's talking about. Got it. It say, for the Lord, Yahweh, have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. So that's a new thing. Like mm-hmm. I said, 1950s, really 1930s, kind, whatever yeah. World War World War World War was, I believe that's 19, late, late 20s, early 20s. Yeah, early 20s. yeah kind. That's when you had the image with the woman with her flexing her arm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? With the bandana on and yeah, shit. With the, yeah, with the red bandana kind, saying, kind. Uh, what was it say? Will we need you or something like that? Or, I think it was something like that. Yeah, because it was basically promoting women to get into the workforce. You know what I'm saying? And, and and now women is you got some women online saying we wish we never came into the workforce we wish we could go back to the kitchen whoever mm-hmm. who I, who the stupid idea was it and it was the idea of the wicked elite of the nation of Egypt. Got it, got it. That's right. Yeah. You know, Lord willing, this was edifying. We're going to end giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechachodash. And again, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. They were well blessed and safety to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.